I'm deeply honored to have the privilege of presenting to all of you. Thank you for joining me today as I'm going to present a short summary about BRAIN, hardware for unveiling perception and conscious experience. Before I start, I need to stress out that the world accelerates into the future, the winds of change relentlessly sweep across continents, leaving no corner untouched. From technological advancement that reshape industries to societal shifts altering the way we connect, every aspect of our lives is touched by these winds. While some may fear change, we must recognize it as inevitable force, and rather than resisting it, we must embrace it as an opportunity. As you will see today, we are introducing a novel approach to explain consciousness and also brain. Let's start with brain in neuroscience. Based on neuroscience, the brain is considered the producer and manager of all conscious experiences and behaviors in humans. Often examining the brain, we find a community of neurons with specific structures, particularly microtubules, which play a crucial role in brain functioning. Interestingly, the same quantity of nerve cells in humans can generate and manage different qualities in individuals. Neuroscience suggests that electrical messages recognized through brain waves are responsible for human behaviors. There are some questions ahead. However, this perspective raises a number of intriguing questions. For instance, how do microtubules with similar structures in living organisms produce such a wide variety of information? Do individual cells pose self-management capabilities? And if so, how do different pieces of information coordinate within a complex neuronal network? With constant communication occurring among approximately 100 billion cells every moment, the origin and management of message flow become significant puzzles. Where does the initiation of message flow originate and how is it directed within this vast network? As said in the beginning of the presentation, we are looking from new perspective and approach to this question which was introduced by Muhammad Ali Tahiri, the founder of Cosmo Intel. Muhammad Ali Tahiri is a spiritual teacher, theorist, innovationist, and the founder of Erfan Halqa Spiritual Group. He is also founder of the Cosmo Intel Research Center for Consciousness Field Studies. Key Consciousness and Brain In this context, the T consciousness theory introduced by Muhammad Ali Tahiri addresses these questions. T consciousness is considered another component of the universe, distinct from matter and energy. It's a non-physical entity with the ability to influence both matter and energy. You can clearly see the relationship between the T consciousness, matter and energy. When it comes to the brain, it is often likened to a supercomputer or hardware requiring a software component. This analogy likens the activities of neural network to electric circuits where just like any physical network functioning as hardware, there is a need for software. Electrical messages cannot be processed and managed independently. This software component referred to as the mind is believed to exist in all physical entities, even non-living ones like various metals. In other words, the emergence of this non-physical entity necessitates a receiver or detector that allows hardware, such as nerve cells, to receive information originating from T-consciousness. As a result, it translates the information into tangible messages, such as electrochemical signals transmitted by neurons. Experimental results. The unique aspect of the theory of T consciousness lies in the, its practical applications. Various T consciousness fields can be examined through reproducible experiments. For example, researchers found that applying T consciousness fields to nerve cells 
taken from patients with Alzheimer's disease enhance the survival of neurons while maintaining the structural integrity of microtubules. Additionally, T consciousness fields were found to reduce amyloidopathy compared to the controls. As you can clearly see in the picture that shows the cultured neurons with anti amyloid antibody, that group A is control group, group B is nutritional starved group, and group C is Faradarmani consciousness field treated sample. Moreover, a study conducted on the human brain revealed distinct patterns of activated and deactivated regions under the influence of T consciousness fields, distinguishing it from the other meditation methods. Overall, the experimental evidence obtained confirms that instead of solely generating or shaping conscious experience, the brain plays a key role in unveiling the effects of T consciousness. According to Tari, defining this portion of the central nervous system as hardware and introducing software as a manager can trigger a revolution in the field of neuroscience. In the picture, you can clearly see the 3D regions of activity in the brain of the Faradarmanger population through Faradarmani consciousness field connection. A special thanks to the research team, Muhammad Ali Tahari, Farid Samsarha, and Sora Trabi. Please refer to reference page for more detailed information. Science Fact Research Center, the monitoring and publishing center for consciousness fields research, according to Tahari's concepts, would like to invite laboratories and research institutions for collaboration please contact through email, web, or scanning the QR code. Thanks for your attention.